So I live for this moment every morning at the minute. Good morning, Lynx. Good morning. Wow, does that feel good. I'm telling you, getting up in the morning is one of the hardest things, for me anyway. I'm not a morning person, but after you finished a morning workout, it just feels absolutely amazing. Like, I'm just full of energy, full of the beans. Um, I'm actually full of cold as well, but um, very, very happy that I got up this morning, even though I'm feeling a little bit rough to push out that cardio session. I'm gonna be heading back to the gym later. Um, I just want to say that I'm not gonna sustain this for like, the whole of the year. It's just gonna be something that I'm doing just to push myself and give myself a little bit of a head start into the right direction um, so I'm set up ready for summer because summer bodies aren't made in the summer, they're made in the winter. So I'm putting in the effort now and I'm gonna reap the rewards come 2018 spring summer. So I've just got back home. Uh, Lydia's headed down to London because today she had a couple of meetings. I've knocked myself up some breakfast. We had the dry cleaning guy come and drop off a wedding suit, wedding dress shirts, bedding, all of that stuff. So feeling very organized this morning and uh, check how much post I got this morning. Obviously as a geezer out there dropping more off. Yeah, thank you mate. What's he doing? <laughs> That's how much post Lydia gets. And I got one. 10 to one. That one parcel I did get was actually very nice. Um, Sorry, the cats have been playing with it. Uh, Clinique have sent me a swell water bottle. If you've not tried these water bottles yet, I think we've got about six. They're very good, so it comes in very handy. But the actual product they sent me was this Clinique Fit, and it's basically like hydrating spray. So I'm gonna find it's very convenient for the gym because when you're on the go, you just can literally posh, and you're hydrated. So it's like an on-the-go, easy moisturizer. Um, so thank you Clinique for sending that out, it's going to come in very handy. I've just put myself in to go and get my hair cut with Greg uh, Goodfellas. After I've got my hair cut, I've not really got that much planned. I need to go up to the shops in Middle Kings to try and grab myself some more gym attire. Um, I did mention in my last video, or the video before, that I was going to be going to Hong Kong. Um, that's with long jeans and when we're away we do get the chance to go and train and we also do shoot some stuff in fitness gear as well. So it'd be nice to actually get some new fitness gear for that but we'll see how the day goes. I haven't really got any plans today. It's kind of a day off. I'm dealing with um, some very important vital parts of our house move. Um, so hopefully that all comes together today and then we'll have two very happy campers. So yeah, I don't really know what today is gonna be about. Um, we'll just see how we go. So I've just finished off playing with links, doing some emails and catching up with work bits. I'm gonna head to the hairdressers now, so let's go and get this hair fixed. We are done. It's got dark pretty quickly out here. It's time for round two of the gym today because like I mentioned previously, I've been doing three two day sessions throughout the week, just to try and give myself a little bit of an edge at the start of the year. So Lydia is on her way back from London. This evening, I'm just gonna chill out of her and probably cook her some dinner or something. I've not actually spoke to her, so I don't know what her plan is for today, but I'm feeling fresh with the new cut, had the beard tidied up. So I'm ready for the weekend and I'm ready to hit the gym. I'm not gonna bring you guys along with me because we went this morning. So I'm just gonna go there, get it done and then head back and then hopefully 
have a chilled evening on the sofa with this little fella and Lydia. Right, so I've just got back from this evening's gym session and I picked Lydia up from the train station from London. And we are both very hangry, very hangry. So I'm gonna get busy cooking. Um, I'm gonna do two sweet potatoes and then some fillet steak for dinner and um, eat, chill out and watch some Netflix. That's the plan. So yesterday I signed off after Lids and I just sat down and uh, continued the Making a Murderer series. I think we're on episode four and uh, it's really captured me. Like I'm really into it. I want to continue to watch it, but I have to wait until Lydia is back to watch it with me. Um, she's currently just gone to the gym. I went this morning. Uh, we were going to get up and do an 8 a.m. spin class and we didn't wake up until like nine o'clock, which is terrible. Um, but I was like, I'm just going to go and do some cardio on the stairs and um, as a stair maker, not in the house. And uh, she's gone to the 2 p.m. spin class with Carrie. So um, I'm just at home. I have sorted out some bits and bobs and waiting for my mate Bluett to arrive. He's just picked up a new car, so hopefully he's in it so we can take a look at it. And then I need to head up the shop uh, to pick up some bits for work and stuff. So we're going to do a bit of shopping and I'm going to show you what I pick up and uh, I don't know what it's going to be yet, might be a bit of fitness attire, maybe a couple of ties, uh, we'll see, see how successful we are, we're going to Milton Keynes Shopping Centre, hopefully we'll be able to find something. Whip, what are we saying? Jeez! Blue is notorious for leaving bottles in his car. Ah, oh, he's got the cream leather. Cream sand? Yes. Oh, look at that little detailing. Limited That's edition. Naughty. limited edition. Only the best. For a limited guy. Oh, you're the best, mate. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, I like that little red detail. I've not seen that before. Snitching. Swazzy. Very swazzy. Swaz, swaz. Nice. Swazzers. Yes. Swazzers. There's yeah, Lidzin out there. Huh? Lids? Yeah. Right, we're gonna get up to the shops and uh, do a bit of shopping. We'll see you after, please. So I've just got back home and I had quite a successful shopping trip. I was heading out primarily to pick up ties for my upcoming trip to Hong Kong and I managed to get three. So I thought I would quickly show you what I picked up. Um, the first one was this burgundy striped tie from TM Lewin. And um, I also got a pair of socks to match that are in the sale. So I got them for a fiver, which was a bargain. So I think this is gonna go really nicely with a gray and um, the navy suits that I have. Uh, it's got a nice navy and a light gray stripe through it. So this is gonna be quite diverse. Uh, gonna get a lot of wear out of that, so that was great. And then I headed to House of Fraser where I picked up these Kenneth Cole ties. I got two, this was the first one kind of made out of a silky material and um, again it's just got a really like nice unique pattern to it gonna go really well with the majority of my suits and then lastly it's really hard to see in this light but this actually does have um, a little bit of a burgundy sort of hint to it and it's a grey tie again from Kenneth Cole these are 25 pounds both of them skinny ties all of the ones that I picked up today I'm thinking that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this as well so I think I picked up three ties that I'm going to get a fair amount of wear from uh, with the majority of the suits that I have because my suits are very much sort of navy black orientated with the charcoal grey uh, and I think these will go with all of those suits quite well so successful shopping trip. 
and I do have to apologise for the sound of my voice and my sniffling. I'm starting to get even worse. I'm just getting like a big flow of congestion. But um, yeah, that's kind of like today finished. Blue is headed back up to where he lives. Uh, I think he's going out this evening and staying at a hotel with his partner. Uh, so Lily is currently here getting ready for a girls night out and I'm possibly gonna go and have some dinner with some friends. So I think this is a very good time to end the video. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and um, I'll see what links I can link below um, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Tell me you can take me home.